Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mia Yorka here and we are back with a new reaction video with um, Game of Thrones Season 1 Episode 3. Alright guys, if you are interested in this topic, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also go ahead and subscribe to my new channel Mia Yorka Reacts. This is where I'm going to be posting all my um, reaction videos um, in the near future so go ahead and subscribe that way you don't miss anything all right um, before we start with this new reaction video um, let's talk about or let's recap of what happened in um, episode 2 last week so the episode start with um, Lord Corey storming in the room because he was so upset that his ship um, and his men got um, or got um how do you call that I wouldn't say kidnapped or went missing and he believed that is the crab feeders that or the pirates that um, that took his men and his ships and they told him that look we do understand but we're gonna compensate you for the loss of your men and your ship and he's like i don't care i need to start a war we need to start a war with those people the king is like no we cannot afford starting a war um so he got upset so basically he did not get what he wanted so Rhaenerys was in the room Rhaenerys was like well you know we have um dragon riders why can't we just send our dragon riders to go retrieve you know those people and the king was like, you know what, this is an adult conversation and it's too much. Since we had to choose the new um, leader of the city guard, let me go ahead and let you choose them. Since you're going to be, whoever you choose is going to be guiding you or guarding you anyway. So it's best that you choose your own person. So she went in and they showed her multiple guards from multiple houses. And she decided she didn't like any of them because none of them had any fighting experience. So... She decided to go with Sir Kristen, who we can see at the beginning of the um, episode one and two that she was, you know, kind of like really liking. I think he liked that guy. I'm not even, she liked that guy, sorry. She liked him. So she ended up choosing him. Now, um, also in this episode, there were a lot of, um, how do you say that? They were pressuring the king to get remarried. They want him to start thinking about his succession. They want him to start thinking about his legacy. So he needs to remarry. Okay. So that was the main pressure um, in that season. So also in that season, we also in sorry in that episode, we also saw that the beginning of the clashing between the queen who never was with Rhaenerys. As I was saying at the beginning of episode one and two i'm like those two gonna clash eventually and we kind of start seeing that little you know clashing going on because um she kind of like reminding her like hey you know like even though he names you the the heir to the throne um if something happened to your father or the king girl the men they will prefer to burn the crown to the ground before they put a female on there and you know Renaris likes being stubborn has she's you know being strong will and she told him look they they bend the will they bend their knee to me they're gonna they're gonna have to do it regardless because I am the heir to the throne right so with the whole the king wants to make remarry blah blah, blah and stuff like that the queen who never was and Lord Chorus went to the king and be like look he apologized first because he was causing some he walked in the room like he really owned the kingdom for real and then he apologized and he like okay this is the best solution to the issue right now the throne is looking weak you know by you naming a girl as your ear why don't we you know join our houses and i will give you my little six-year-old even though they say she's 12 but i think that girl look like she's six um, I will give you my daughter and you can marry her and that way we can join our house and your house will look s stronger since they have like, their, their house is really strong too and they also have Tar Targaryen in their bloodline. So it would have been perfect. 
So you can tell the king throughout that whole episode was like mind bugging about like marrying this little girl. Like he was going crazy asking people their their <laughs> their input, and a lot of people was telling him, "Hey, go ahead and marry her. This is the best option for you to do right now." You know, she's coming from a strong house. Um, so you need and she's young she's gonna give you kid um i mean she's gonna give you air blah, blah blah and stuff like that so marry her so the king decided okay i need to make a decision and that's not going to be this girl so he decided to uh, ask for um Rhaenyra's best friend hand in marriage instead of the little girl and you can tell how pissed Lord Chorus was when he found out that he was not choosing his daughter. He felt like very disrespected at the, on the table. So once again, he stormed out the room and he, um, so is Rhaenyra's because Rhaenyra's was really shocked too. I have a feeling that the king and, you know, and that girl, he already mentioned to her, like, look, I'm having feeling for you. I'm going to be asking your hand. I prefer you instead of this little girl and stuff like that. So I feel that when he, you know, um, when he um, shared that information with the room, you can tell the girl looked like she already knew, right? But anyway, so Rhaenyra's storm out the room because, of course, I'll be upset too if my dad decided to um, marry my only best friend, the only best friend that I have in the in the in the in the kingdom, right? But anyway, so the episode ends with um, Lord Car Lord Chorus. Um, he went to Damon. Oh, before the season ends, sorry, I forgot the whole egg issue. So you know, Damon, he's this boy they sent him he was supposed to go to the veil to my understanding to go you know meet up with his new wife and set up there but he did not do that he ended up going to um dragonstone which was for Rhaenerys. so he ended up going to dragonstone and he sees dragonstone and stuff and then he sent a letter to the king saying that hey you know like um my new wife which is the whore that you know I don't want to call her that, but that's that's the that's what they call her in the show, right? So he sent the letter and he's like, "Hey, my new wife is a, is you know is pregnant and have a, about to have a baby, and we're about to get married." So he went ahead and stole one of the dragon's eggs so he can put in the baby's cradle because that's like the target Targaryen way. All right, so that was about to start a whole war. So the king was gonna go there. So the king's hand whatever was like no don't go let me go instead which i feel like he sent himself on a suicide mission because Damon don't even like his eyes already but anyway that was about to be a war right so he went there insulting after insulting whatever um to make a long story short Rhaenerys basically saved the day because she just went there on her dragon you know make that big appearance and then we find out that the girl was not even pregnant the man was not even planning on getting married i think he was just doing that to upset the king but anyway so she was able to retrieve the dragon egg without no bloodshed right so when he got back the dad was so upset with her and everything like that and he's like oh my god i forgot that you and the men are so alike and stuff like that so whatever but anyway so the episode ends with lord chorus trying to convince Damon to help him fight the crab feeders so he can get his men and the fact that he's going behind the king's back when the king's already told him not to do so and he's going to the king behind the king's back and talk to Damon I feel like it's the you know it's an ultimate betrayal and I feel like he forget that you know the king can put his head on a spike as easily you know as you can say one two three like damon can act and behave and throw tantrum because damon is the king's brother and i think eventually there's gonna be a war in between each other one of them is gonna kill one another i'm not sure but i still feel like damon is gonna be the one that's gonna kill the king right because the king is being too lenient with this boy so anyway that's how the 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 episode and episode two and that like that where um, Lord Chorus was telling Damon, hey, you know, like if you defeat the crab feeders, people are gonna see you in a different light and blah 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 and all that things. So now I can't wait to see what episode um three is gonna bring because I wanna see how the king is going to punish them for um 
for how do you say that for basically he told them not to start a war and they went ahead and start a war all right so let's get to um season one episode three reaction of game of Thrones. see you guys <laughs> Something got caught on fire. Okay, so I see the crab feeders. He's strong. Oh my god. Can you imagine being eaten alive by crabs and they are torturing you? Like, it's literally uh, the. Let's look at the depiction of hell. This guy look weird. I feel like he's missing a side of his face. That's why he have this mask on. Oh, we okay. So yeah, they did went and attack the the crab feeder when the king specifically told them not to do it. That dragon looks so weird, guys. Oh, the dragon killed him. At least he's out of his misery. <laughs> Excuse me. They are running. What? The dragon is too big to go in the hole. The dragon neck, it's just like, uh, it looks like a snake to me. It's weird. Ew. It's not gonna come out. You have a dragon. You think he's dumb? He's just gonna come out and commit suicide, basically? Oh, shit! He got hit! So they literally went and started a war that the king specifically told them not to do so. That definitely gonna start a war between them and the king for real. Who's oh shit, two years already. The kid, so the girl already gave him a son. And it's been two years, guys. What a way to to fast forward. It seems like she's pregnant again. Second name day. So I wonder, now the fact that his daughter gave the son I mean, his daughter gave the king a son. Does that change his position and his title? I guess not. 
The crowd who had dug in to see John Blood's stone line has now sabotaged our feet under the cover of dust. Just the day of Halloween. The matter of the set stone is. The king looks so happy. <laughs> it can wipe out the tree. Exactly. Let him enjoy his son. I was trying to ruin his time, you know. Why is he asking him for Ranira? Is he Ranira's bodyguard? The man is not even here and he's always in the center of attention. Exactly. She looked like a little young queen. This girl. The father is killing himself looking for her and she's under the tree reading. Mm. Let me see how that interaction is going to happen because now she's what? Her mother-in-law? <laughs> that is weird from best friend to mother-in-law. That's weird. Wow. She's very mature. The queen. The queen. So it's been like two years, almost three years, and they still not talking with each other. That's crazy. They skip the entire uh, her, you know, getting pregnant and giving birth to that to the first son. Yeah, since she took her best friend, that's true. She started to become a little bit rebellious. I mean, normal after like a month or two, but two years? I mean, she's... I 
this already happened, girl. Now this girl is being so rebellious. She just sat in there. That's true. I guess everybody's here for the babes, not her. But right now I feel like she's acting like a, a little kid, you know, because usually when a woman have a second kid the first kid is usually acting up but i feel like that's what she's doing right now but not only that i think she's acting up not because of the baby but because you know he chose her best friend to be um his wife so i guess she would be okay if the father had married the little girl that looked like she's six I don't know, I'm getting some vibe from this boy. As if he's, he's pretending, next thing you know, in the middle of the season, he start going crazy. Your dear uncle is the great man behind this wall, isn't he? I wouldn't know if that's where the real man is, since you supplied him as a man. Don't you know the choices they were given? Mm-hmm. The places to use and control? Exactly. The great master of the king was put in anchorage. Send fleets and men and clear out the triad if you do. But the crown is not a war. The crown is a war, princess. When your father refuses to admit it, you've been dragged into it by your uncle and his sister. Now he's not going to be the crown of mine, very quickly. The crowd is at war because of your uncle. <laughs> Why? You can feel the tension in the room. how rich those people are and peacock is extremely expensive they have like them just walking around like regular pigeon or something a lannister Exactly. There are dragons, of course. I do anything to my fingers. Or whatever. Ew! You're not disgusting that. It's just like, bye. 
what is going on with those men married people you know women of their age back in those days This is not this place all the time. That's when you know you the king is fed it. up. Yes, the royal huntsman has sent a report of yours has been a sighting of a white hart. The stag is the king of the king's woodrow race and regal portent for Prince Egon's name. Day. Yeah, this girl, she's becoming rebellious. I'm sorry guys, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm under my cover. <laughs> so I guess this guy got assigned to be her right hand man. I didn't see when that happened. Because he was asking, the king was asking him for her, and now she's running away. He's running after her. Like, I want to understand what's going on there. Excuse me. They make riding horse extremely easy in those movie, guys. I went to ride a horse in Puerto Rico for vacation. Let me tell you. You need to have like bottom and legs, okay? some chemistry there i would not be shocked watch if she does agree to get married she's gonna marry this guy which is gonna be a probably issue because they are all having some kind of like chemistry i had an adventurous youth girl my father served at black Bay and he's girl but my session was never high enough for a formal diploma before i spent my hours in writing the same job i could have married a common boy but i want to go that's true. Her position is not hell. She's just making that hell. You know, those kids back in the day, those kings and queens and princesses, they are so entitled. A little bit issue is like major for them, comparing to the commoners that are dealing with a lot of harder things than they are. So that's true. A lot of people will trade places just to be where she's at right now. Those dogs are huge. What's going on? How far? The dropping of the farm half a week to the east. Good sir. I'm going to be out of here. I'd best go out to find 
The beast is up with a 35 gun. So I guess that's their version of hunting back in the day. But instead of them actually go look for the hunt, the king had to stay and they have to bring the hunt for the king. <laughs> That Jason Lannister guy, he looked very suspicious to me. I don't like him. Ah, look at the baby. He's already reading already. Two years old. I have this food from the Golden Gallery in the Lord of St. Edmund. What is that? It's a spear? <laughs> I hope it might provide the king's throat against the white heart. The king is a king of woods. He was the same himself, as much as say. Thank you. You are jealous. I would be honored. <laughs> Look at the king's face. Well, I am for you. Do you think that House Taviani wants to stay? Is there one of them more dragon? Do you want to take them? Do you have dragons, Walker? Exactly. Captain Rock is a splendid seat. Renera may take a place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? Right. If you were to name your name on air, would I? What would I do with the air? I would assume, as is the first one's son. The Lannisters are always soon. Have you abandoned any questions? My choice of them? Of course not. Okay. This is your sworn duty to report rebellion and stirring in my people. Mm -hmm. Then, there has to be nothing of the sort. Your Grace, I, 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 I do not decide to name an heir on my heir. Right. All the laws of the kingdom will be well. Remember that. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But it's not an unreasonable question. It's just like he's mm. trying to get into people's business. That's not his business. But at the same time, he did bring up a great point. Because now that you have a son, it's going to be legitimate for him to be next of king. Even though you name Ranera as heir, but if you end up dying right now, it's going to be a war or a battle because she's a girl. So even though he's, you know, he's out of place, but he, he did ask the right question or make the right assumption. That man's pride has pride. That man's pride has pride. It's a lot of pride. She will do as you command. It's not my wish to have mine. I want her to be happy. Yeah. He's a good father. He's a good dad. There is another choice beyond the castle of your heart. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with one closer to home than you have in mind. Right. Prince Aegon. What? That's her brother. <laughs> what is Tantilla? Yes, but it would cease the tenderness. So she will marry. She will marry her brother. That's disgusting. Fucking poverty thing. Yep. Let us speak no more. Yeah, please don't. Don't. That's just disgusting. 
So right now, how old is Renaris? I cannot even think of it. So in order to prevent the whole commotion, there's gonna be, you know, a fight for that throne regardless. And that's why at the beginning, the old um, king said, because he knows the only thing that can destroy the house of dragon is itself. So I'm not sure how this season is going to end. However, I know they're gonna be like some kind of war or chaos. Cause now you're gonna have like three people at play. You're gonna have like Damon, you're gonna have Renera, and when the boy come of age, he's gonna be poor. So now it's a matter of who's gonna win. That's what that's my assumption right now. The king keep on drinking and drinking and drinking. It's like he's supposed to be happy, but Renera, I think Renera is making him going crazy right now. Daughters, we can be very, we can drive our dads crazy if we want to. <laughs> that is so funny. Ugh. <laughs> the king's face is funny. I don't know how that's going to work right now since they started a war without the king, but that makes sense. The bridge between your houses is not narrow since I last spoke of it. It's put in much since waves to all corners of any slight green. Yeah, I agree with him on that. That that can be a great match. And now you still have like the powerful you know you still have like the powerful house instead of them being against each other they still have a chance to reunite the house so if Renera married you know um their son then you know maybe that will cause or calm them down i guess the king kind of agrees because he didn't argue or anything like that And I like the kind of queen she is too, because even though she's young, but she's monitoring him from the side, I guess. She's not being intervened. Yeah, she's just being like a little. It's like I don't understand her character. One minute she act like she's like she have like the queen personality, she's ready. The next minute she do something petty, like acting like a little toddler. I mean, it takes two years to get over. Like, girl, move on. Somebody's there. If they get attacked, if they get attacked here, it's gonna be all this girl fault. In the middle of nowhere, instead of being where there's people. She decided to camp out in the middle of nowhere. Boo! <laughs> I, I hit ones like that. Come out. 
Oh shit. Oh. What the hell? Oh hell no. her go back to the camp or wherever they are. Ah, look at her. With her big belly. You know, I kind of trust his dreams, you know, so it seems like Renera is not going to get to touch that crown. Let's keep that in mind, guys. A male babe won the crown, not a female. He's very conflicting. He's going through a lot. Damn. That's crazy. Going on. Oh, well, that's not white. <sighs> this guy with his ugly spear. Yeah, the king looked like he, he's just giving up. Mm. 
the king never went hunting before? It's moving too much. Oh. Poor baby. Oh. That's torturing. Those dogs are ready. <laughs> Let's go, Your Grace. Oh, my God. Oh, poor baby. I know no animal really got hurt in the process of making this, but it looks so real. I don't even know. Or was it? Everybody just start clapping to make him feel better. They probably be like, he cannot even kill. You know? I don't even know, guys. And here you go, this girl. She finally decided to go back. And she was about to run by herself. Thanks God this guy was there to protect her ass. I mean her. <laughs> oh, there's another one. That's the white one. The white one went to go see her. Does that even mean something? That's been like the nature is with her. I don't even know. Huh. That's interesting. Everybody making the dad look like like a dumbass, y'all. Everybody knows. It's like everybody's looking like what happened. What's going on? Is your aunt, Why not? Our dad's my grandson. Today's grandson, my father, might take you with him. As they should be. He's the future of the land. And you yourself witnessed the scale of the celebration and the united the end. When you bore the king's son, you lend him 15 years of his certainty of that. Hmm. Aegon, like his namesake, is born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And Viserys was named him heir of the realm of waiting for it. Oh well. He's always up to something, this guy. And whether it's not pleasing, I do not want your son to be king. You mustn't ignore the certain truth that if Rhaenyra were to step over Regon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. Okay. They will swallow this dispute. Our house and all. That was before Regon. Rhaenyra defeated. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter if she was Jaehaerys himself born again. Rhaenyra is a woman. What if my son? 
That's some interesting conversation. Say something happened to the king. Rhaenyra is fucked. That's why she needs to start thinking like a queen and like a woman. You see? Even though he's the right hand of the king, if the if the king died right like if the king died today, he's not gonna wish he's not gonna how do you say that honor his wishes to have Renera as queen. He's gonna try to get the son to be king. Huh. I do not think she enjoyed Jason Lance's company. She is cross. I wonder what she is doing. When Nero has come of age, she must seek to marry a high lord who would honor her, defend her, and serve her as king. Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe Nero will marry. She must be with his help to do so. Exactly. Listen to her best friend. Exactly. What's this? A letter. Conveying the love. Caesar is dead. He's fighting in the search now. With all the rest. I wonder if he's gonna, you know, yeah. punish them for that. Because he clearly told them not to do it, and they go, like, I'm wondering what's the punishment for disobeying, you know, him and start a war. Well, Corus is explained very soon, I believe. Exactly. This is a thing for you. Then why not send it? Because he told them. Exactly. If I not talk about Damon and Corey Sucker, what would I say to him? Perhaps that he's a good man and he loves his brother. But if you truly believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. <laughs> what do you believe he says? That I would better do to find a one person than pleasing to another. Then I pose a simpler question. Is it better for the realm of the pride he that thrives, or is that better? Hmm. Hello. Make haste and water your brother, and deliver this to Prince Damien's. Don't worry so very little. What's that? I'm sending word to Damien. Aid is sailing to the steps. Then you may come back. You will soon die. But it seems there's nothing to allow her. Do you not take my decision correct? This is no consequence to what I think. No. As I'm often reminded. Damon is far enough in my flesh. Will you insist on taking that for him? Hmm. Must have been seen to me about it. If you refer to attempts to marry me off to cast me off. I am sorry, my dear. I was trying to help you. Will you not be ill? Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me with Alison Clytel, son. The boy you've always wanted. Hmm. You have my hands now. You have no further use for me. You might as well pet me with all you can. Oh, wow. And after you saw all the a fleet of ships. You have misjudged me, Oh, no. Jason Madison means it. You said it yourself. The laws of the realm govern like vultures to the carcass for them to feast on my bones. Oh, wow. It is true that as rulers, you must marry for advantage. 
to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. I myself was promised to your mother when I was ten. Ten and seven years of age. The veil had an army to ride in the north. I've heard that story since I was a kid. I loved her. Mm. She made me happy. Mr. Rao, make a man out of you. Living much alone these last few years, alone and angry. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented, happy even. What did the man have lived? A family. I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was an auntie, you would have been laying a valorious. Wow. Well. That is true. You must. Strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply. That's true. I do agree because, yes. like, I'm keep on saying, like, if he dies, she can say goodbye to the throne if yes. that's what she really wants for real. Because there's gonna be a war, and it's gonna be a war between. The Targaryens, and it's gonna be those three that I'm talking about. Her, um, Damon, even though the men love yeah. her, but when it comes to that throne, he will. I don't think he'll care. And then her brother. I did wait a long time. But I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be surprised. That's not a promise that I think you should be making. Because the boy is gonna get older, you're gonna see his talent. What if the boy started thinking more like a king than Renera? So now you make that promise to her. <sighs> I feel like she's being set up for failure. And look at them, still at war. I guess it's the ship they sending the ship to help them or something? We have 16, perhaps 18 seaworthy ships. 700 foot and some 60 knights. Our full fitting wind will save what we can fish from the sea. I would say we have a fourth night. Perhaps a bit longer with strict rations. I may call the Great Mark to send more ships, but they will be weeks away. We are faltering and the triarchy knows this. We must press the attack. Continue sending the dragon. Hold this power. I'm saying only one dragon. Here, beyond these rooms. Archers hold a high position, foot soldiers hold the ground. We straight them on the dragon back again. Yeah, that's the boy that they say in Renera should marry. I think that's that's good. The crafty Yorin men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. And not ring of flesh to break the crowd. Who? Yes. Ooh. Which man here will have his daughter in his debt? Show me the knight who will march into that house of Nettie where I will show you the other hand. Damon, Damon is why we are losing. He at least is fighting. <laughs> He's like, Damon is why we're losing. Of the master of complaints. Enough. They know. King Lansing will not support Damon. Why any of us? Jeez. Hope Damon did not hear that conversation. Blood or no favor, I will not have you so convince me. Or he'll get fried. Seize control of this war, my lord. The crabs will soon die on all of us. They men look beat up. And I'm wondering that um, that war has been going on for like a while too. Prince Damon, I bring word from his grace, Viserys Targaryen. Uh, 
left of the day, king of the Andals, the Roymar, and the first men, lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Nobody's reading anything. The king is telling him to go home. Oh. What? Why is he beating on the boy? the hell what happened to the kings tell them like get your ass back home you're losing the war <laughs> So what did the, the king did wrong? He sent help to go help you and wish you the best. Like, I think he slowly resent his brother in a way. Where is he going by himself? Oh, he, he's, he's creating a truce. This boy can seem to stop surprising me. Guys, ugh. give me one minute, hold on. He is calling a for truth. What is he doing? <laughs> He's looking for the dragon. You know, Damon is a trickster. He's like, okay, so where's the dragon? The dragon is not here. What is this boy doing? Not only he 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 did not go with his dragons, but yet they're gonna kill this boy. He definitely yeah. have like a death wish. Instead of getting the help from his brother, he willing to, he preferred to nail to those people. I mean, trying to create an alliance or something. I might be wrong because this boy is full of surprises. But you have to be a madman for real. What are you up to, Damon? What are you up to? <laughs> this guy. He's, he went on a death mission. He can move. Oh my god. I don't even want to see that. Where is everybody? Where is this? 
Where is this team? Where is everyone? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not see this is where I I I don't even know what to say. I am lost. I am lost of I have lost of work for this boy. I know they're not gonna kill him that early in the show because he he's one of the main characters. That's crazy. I don't care how good at a fighter you are, you still need backup. Where's the dragon? Ew. Yeah. I, I feel I feel like I wanna cry for him, but at the same time. He's so stubborn and so hard-headed. Your brother is sending help. Mm. He feels like the dragon is coming. Or not. Now he's sending everybody. How the hell is gonna defeat all those people? Where's the dragon? Oh, he's dead. They're gonna kill this boy. Look at this. How is he gonna fight all those people? This boy is mad. What what's the plan, Damon? What's the plan? Oh, there goes his people. Oh, he lured them out of the cave because they were inside a cave. <gasps> he is such a madman. There goes the dragon. This guy got <laughs> what? He's he's a dragon rider too. Okay, that's an appearance of like another dragon that we haven't seen. So so far we see three dragons right now: Damon's, Renaris, and now this boy is riding a dragon too. He have a dragon. I thought this boy was gonna die. Cause I'm like, okay, he's too much of a big actor, a big part of the show for them to kill him that early. But at the same time, <laughs> I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shocked. You know, it was like the same thing with the with the start um father what was his name again when they killed him right at the beginning almost at the beginning of the season even though he was like a big portion but they kill him that early so hey but if they did kill him at that time or you know during that time of the show they know the writers and the directors, they know the, the fans was going to come out of them hard. Okay, so this whole tactic, I guess, was to lure, you know, all those people out of the cave because all of them was hiding, you know, inside the cave.
Oh shit, he killed him. <gasps> he killed him. <laughs> that that looks like it was like an easy kill. You just cut the men in half. Killed him. Well, it didn't look like an easy kill because it looked like there was some fight going on, but damn, it looked like. Guys, what the hell just happened here? <laughs> what does that mean? For the king and Damon and them. I have multiple questions right now. So the brother was going to send um, help. I feel like he... How do you say that? He didn't want the help from the brother in the first place. He's trying to... I feel like he's going to start a war. He's going to start a war and he's going to kill his, the king. For sure. Okay? He's going to kill the king. Okay? That's my prediction. Um, the fact that he did not accept the help from the king, meaning like he's standing against the king and that he's being rebellious. So the king is going to force to to either punish him. He's already been banished multiple times, but disown him. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what with the next episode, if he's going to get like they're going to get some kind of punishment for sure. Okay, but the king is a little bit lenient. I'm not sure. He might be like, okay, I don't want to see you again, you know, which is a bad idea because if after all this rebellion, he allowed them to, he, he don't punish them or in a, in a way, you know, it's going to show like he's really weak. Not only that, the other guy, I forget his name, gave a great idea to have Rhaenerys married um ooh, I don't remember their name. The 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 guy with the white hair, the with the white dreads. So Rhaenerys, you know, he gave the king the idea for Rhaenerys to marry the son. Now, I am not sure how episode four gonna start because if the king sent help and they win the war without his help, so now I don't even know if he's going to accept that proposal from the king for Renera to marry the son. I don't know, guys. So what do you guys think? Um, what was your thought about this last couple of um, minutes of that, of that show? I really thought that Damon was, you know, he was about to commit suicide or something for him to go out there by himself but apparently it was a tactic for them to lure all those people out of the cave so i can't wait to see season um sorry episode four to see what's gonna happen here i think episode four that's where the heat is gonna be turning up a little um yeah i will see you guys in um in the next reaction video for season one episode four see you guys bye